Hey everyone, it's Ashley and I'm back with a super simple nautical DIY and this time it's going to be an ombre effect DIY. I'm really loving the ombre trend and I think it's so cute in home decor and this is going to be a sign that I'm putting up in my kids bathroom which has this kind of sea theme to it and I wanted to show you guys how you can make it on a budget. So the effect that we're looking for on this little palette here is creating kind of a gradient look to it. So I picked up four different colors um, from the Apple Barrel paints. I started with Tuscan Teal, then Turquoise, then Parrot Blue, then China Blue. And as you can see, they have progressively different shades. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the darkest shade on the bottom and gradually increase it as we go along. So each slat on there, you can tell there's four different slats, will be a completely different color. And I'm going to use a little foam brush to go ahead and paint those. And now that this part is finished, the next step is to let this dry and then we're going to work on painting the little anchor. Before you begin, make sure that you have your work surfaces covered, especially when you're working on this part because this will probably get a little messy. And I just washed the brushes and I'm ready to use a different color. For this one, I'm also going to paint the sides as well so that it has a nice finished look to it. So after you finish painting the anchor, just go ahead and let it dry and we'll come back to the project when they're both completely dry. So once you've allowed your wood pieces to dry completely, the next step is to take it and kind of position it on the um, background there and decide how you want it set up. So this, was, this would be kind of a traditional setup for an anchor sign. You can also play around with it, maybe put it at an angle. Um, my kids really loved it at an angle and this is going in their bathroom so I'm going to go ahead and glue this down at an angle. I'm using wood glue but there are a ton of other glues that you can use as well. This is really inexpensive and you can find it at a lot of places for right around the $2 and under mark. And when you're working on it, just make sure you leave a little bit of extra room because the glue will move and expand. I'm going to probably have to go in and clean up those two areas. Um, but I'm going to get something heavy and set this down on top of it so it has some weight to keep it in position. And while I'm letting this dry, I'm going to go ahead and clean up the little areas near it so that way it stays as nice as possible. If you find there's a few little areas, just go back and work with them while it's wet so that it looks as nice as possible. So thanks so much for watching guys, I really appreciate it. And if you like this tutorial, please like and subscribe. And if you're interested in any more DIYs or decor ideas, check out our Facebook group. It's Dollar Tree DIYs and Decor. I'll leave a link in the description box so you can check it out. And I hope you guys have a great week. See you later.